Hey everybody. So I want to talk to you guys about the inner monologue. This is like a hot topic right now. And do you have an inner monologue or do you not have one? So what is it? <laughs> the inner monologue is when you're talking to yourself about everything that you're doing. Or you could have spaces where you're kind of blank and you're just doing things and enjoying and just kind of going with the flow. And then you have an inner monologue part of the time too. So what does it all mean? So I asked my soul after I saw a video this morning and talked to my soul about it a little bit. And there's many little facets there. So the inner child, if you have an inner monologue, the inner child and an evolved soul are in conversation. So most of you guys will fall into that category, obviously. However, there's also the inner child and the fight or flight response going on. So if you have a soul, but that soul is not calmed down, your body's not calmed down, then you're in inner monologue in a fight or flight response. So if you're having like, I got to plan this, I got to do this, I got, if you have a list in your head, just take a breath, you know, because that's not healthy inner monologue. Make a list, write it down, go with the flow. You know, you don't need to figure things out constantly and ask yourself like, what trauma is causing me to have this kind of inner monologue? And a lot of us have in the past. I know I did when I was working and I was like corporate and had to plan the day and everything had to be squeezed in. I definitely had that kind of an inner monologue. Um, what if you have none? So you can either have like an inner child and a young soul, like a younger soul. And they don't have a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> like they're here to learn together. And that's not like, there's just not a whole lot going on. It's like somebody who they are here on earth for the first time with a young soul, like a newly created soul. So they were not, they would not have a whole lot of inner dialogue. No. Um, and then also there's somebody that has an inner child, but instead they're like receiving information from many souls. And these wouldn't always be the same. So they're very open, almost like their crown chakra is just open all the time. And the lady that I saw in this video, that was her. Like she, she just didn't have anything going on in her head unless something was coming in. She was receiving because the brain is a giant receiver. It's an antenna an antenna and it's also like a computer um the brain of the computer you know that's how you would see it but it's all organic obviously but who would not uh, one more person would not have an inner dialogue and that would be the npc that is just a pure hologram and they only show up when you need somebody to be there in front of you so with me, the people that I've seen that are holographic, one of them was a server and so robotic that you could tell that they were a hologram. And it was very bizarre. But then there's also people... You know, think about when you're in a movie or you're looking at a movie and all the people in the background, that's who the holograms in your life would be. And they don't have an inner monologue <laughs> or an inner child. So there's nobody there to talk to the body. 
So it's almost like you've manifested them to be there just like you manifested your table and your chairs. So they're a living, breathing being that will maybe never, you'll never see again. Maybe they won't even exist again. So that's kind of an intense topic, but I wanted to talk about the inner monologue so you could think about it. And the big thing to think about is what is my inner monologue? If you have it, am I being kind to myself during that? So anyway, I wanted to bring it up because it really hit me as important. So I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. <laughs> Bye.